Nem gap. Hewa. 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 Welcome to the annual Tun Chun competition of the Biram Nation. Our children today have forgotten totally about our traditional type of dishes and so we want to remind them this time around that we have our own peculiar type of food. We will not continue to be eating the type of, the, 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 the type of food that we are having today like the processed food like um, the indomie, the spaghetti and all sorts of things. When you look at the acha which is we call chun in Birom, it is the major food that today all over the world people are in need of it because it gives good health. It is better than the rice, the indomie and other things. And that is why we are doing this to remind our children, to remind even our grandchildren that tomorrow they should not depend on the type of processed food that we are having today. But rather they should look at back to the traditional type of food so that they will live healthy. Now why we are going to do this to chun and leng to is because this is our own tradition. The Biran people believe that chun, which is the hungry rice, is the major cereal that we take and it gives us good health. And in fact, since generations passed, the Biran people don't come, become sick easily because of the chun and the lengto that we are going to cook today. Now, the lengto includes such things like this. We have karkashi, which is a type of uh, uh, plant that is always planted in uh, in our farms and it draws very well and we use it to cook soup then we have what we call the sauce which is a protein type of uh, fruit, food that we add to it when you don't even have the meat you don't have um, the fish to add when you use that it's just taking the, the, the part of the protein in the meal then we have um, the, the, the garden egg which is bitter in taste, but it gives us a, a, a flavor to the type of food that we're going to cook. Then we have the nto, which is potash. And uh, the Biron naturally have never been, has never been having issues with heart issues because of that potash that is used in the cooking. And Biron, we don't normally cook with salt. We believe in cooking with the potash only. We're going to have a competition from all the 13 districts. We are supposed to have 14 because one is in a Kaduna state which is the Aboru but they are not coming today because the place is very far from Bridge so they cannot be able to attend to this program today. But they are going to, we are going to have 13 districts that are going to participate in this competition and the competition is they are going to pound the tune, produce the processed tune and then cook with it for today and people will buy the food that we are going to they are going to cook so that they will be able to see what is being done in the Birom Nation. Alright, so these are the pots they are going to be using to cook the to chun, that's after pounding the the archer, after pounding the chun, they're going to be using these pots. They've set them already, ready for for cooking the tuk. As you can see, the pots they're using are not ordinary pots, they are clay pots. And these pots are very strong. Our forefathers then used clay pots to cook. So that's what they're going to be using today. And the bigger ones, I'm sure, are the ones that they will use to cook the tuk, while the smaller ones, they will cook the liang to in them. I just learned that in the olden days they don't use firewood to cook. They use these dry grasses and uh, sticks from maize or millet to cook. 
So let's see how this archer will be transformed from this to this. They just finished the first round of pounding now what these women are doing is they're sieving the archer and after sieving the chaff they will pound again so they keep doing this continuously until they get the last result Everything about Nzengorom is the culture. And the culture starts with feeding yourself. If you can't eat, you cannot survive. So we're expecting that after farming, you will prepare food for the home. How will you do that? What is the process of preparation of food? It starts with this. After the archer has been brought home and kept in the bag, they bring it out and give it to the woman to prepare food for the day for the family. The process starts with the pounding of the chun. And the chun is the acha. It is not called acha in the language in its raw form because there is a name after they have pounded. When they pound it finish and they get the clean one, they call it chehel. So it moves from chun to chelis. So this is the process now. After the process is the preparation of the meal for the day. Now, what are we doing here today? We're doing here because there is modernization. Machines have come to take over this older process. And the younger generation may have not seen this. But we want them to know that there has been a process even to the cooking, you will see the type of pots. It's not the type of pots we have today. And the meal will be different from the one that we have in the modernization. So that's the significance of this process. It's tested, good for diabetics. And um, I want to recommend it for you.
Did you notice that they used the acha without washing it? It is believed that when you wash the acha, you wash away the nutrients. So they use it directly without washing. Yeah, so let's see. This woman is adding the potage. She's preparing for her soup. That is the lianto. <coughs> Meanwhile, her took is still on fire. So you prepare your soup ingredients while your took is still on the fire. Yeah? <laughs> so let's observe how she makes her own soup. Took is almost ready. You guys should just look at the texture of this took. It's so strong. Wow. soup is ready so now she's preparing her soup and this black thing you all are seeing is is called nzos now this is a local maggi and obviously this soup you don't apply maggi you don't add salt to it so this nzos give you all the scent and all the you know sweetness you need yeah so let's watch how she will make this beautiful soup. Took is ready and she's calling her neighbors to join her. You know, Biron people we love sharing. Mm? Sharing is caring. So yeah. <laughs>
District is Bachi with 176.5 marks. The third day, congratulations. Congratulations to the winner, one district. Um, so the dishes were opened and sold to the guests that came around for the program and yeah of course i'm happy the winner is from Wang, my village <laughs> and of course is there any biron program you would go to without terre if there's no terre there then the program isn't complete so yeah this is me enjoying my terre and this is the original biron terre no salt, no maggi, no nothing, just natural ingredients. Yeah, and then we have some display of uh, our cultural beads and attire. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please do give it a huge thumbs up, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and bye.